That's crazy. Have you guys read the book, Musashi? Which one? Musashi. That's the one well, year. Yeah, yeah you, as soon as you could, you could have ended, you could have ended. Have you read the book? You period. It would have. <laughs> the answer is no. <laughs> Now you ask, have you read the pamphlet of the Chinese food restaurant? <laughs> Different answer. <laughs> Try not to do the... I just want to do gunshots. Explosion gunshots? Yeah. What if we just say explosion <laughs> gunshots? I think it's just as bad. <laughs> Explosions <laughs> and gunshots. Bring in some excitement, boys. Yes, yes, yes. What up, Jofo Mofos? We're back for another episode of the Jofo Podcast. And as always, to the right of me... Eight of tracks. <laughs> ah, thanks for putting in work. To my left, two over. DJ playlist because he uses a playlist. Ah, DJ. That <laughs> AKA the Latka lasagna. All right. The schmo of the fucking ho schmo faggot boy. Ah, there, there's the monetization. There you go. We're demonetized. Uh, Tika Leak. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> See that? I can't help it. And today's special guest. What episode? Uh, what, what did we do for? Uh, we don't know yet. No, so we, we don't know, know when it's gonna come out. We got the Dubai Samurai. Well, we're not going live tomorrow. All right, so this is coming out uh, this Monday. Is- it's Monday, Monday, Monday. Yeah. In the house, we got the Dubai Samurai, a.k.a. Hadi Kuba. How's it going, everybody? Thanks for coming through. Thank you for having me. It was fun last time. Well, the, it was good. It was, nice uh, we got, we no, got you were invited end. this time. We got the tail end yes. of the... Uh, we invited you this time. You didn't just <laughs> yeah, you're here on break into <laughs> our fucking house. <laughs> no, thanks for coming back. That was when we, we, had, uh, we had Shapiro on, right? Yeah, we had Josh Shapiro on. Oh, bro, since that happened, let's talk about Josh, because they published the Skankfest cassette that he did. For real? They pub- yeah, 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 the Kill yeah, Tony. Kill Tony the, sorry, the Kill Tony oh, set. Oh, that's sick. And what he didn't tell us is that he went up first. He was first out of the bucket. Okay, and uh, he fucking killed it, bro. Yeah, like he, like he really, like there was nothing wrong with the set. Was he had two jokes and it's a minute, right? So he did yeah. two solid, solid jokes. And even Dave Smith goes, "Fucking those jokes were you said them perfectly and you wrote them perfectly." Like that's a huge compliment coming. I would from expect him. that from Dave Smith, though. Yeah. Tell me, tell me what the other people said about him. <laughs> well, they were all no, they were all, all good things. The only thing is, like, what he did say is when, when he remember when he was here, he mentioned the, the Montreal thing. Like as soon as they mentioned Montreal, what he didn't mention is that he. This is French people. In the joke? <coughs> Under the joke in the interview. Oh, that's fine. They start going off on Montreal, right? Like well, he brings up Montreal and they start he going brings up off. Montreal and he's like, and then J- Big J goes, oh, I heard you can't do comedy in, Eng- in, uh, in English there. They kick you out. Yeah, he's not entirely wrong almost. And yeah. then and then he goes, um, and then uh, he, goes, uh, he goes, oh, fuck that. I don't even do the French fucking things. He's like, yeah, like that. It's good and for I him. I found it weird because I only, only there was research because somebody on our, on our, on our video of Josh... Some guy wrote, uh, "Oh, this guy's a fucking loser. He hates all French people, and I'll let, I'll pass the word out." A comment in in our in our podcast? Yeah. Stop. Yeah. So I'm like, what the fuck happened? Then I, I hope went he to, follows us. Like that. <laughs> and then I went, but then I went to go check his YouTube. I'm like, who is this guy? Bruno, I don't know if we can go check it out, uh, find the comment, but look at the video that he has posted. He has two videos. He's been on YouTube for 10 years. Okay, he has, he has two videos? He has two videos. One of him cooking a hot dog in a pan with no water. <laughs> what? <laughs> Who's this guy? <laughs> <laughs> Sounds French. And, uh, and another, one of no- another one of nothing, of like some stupidity. And so I just wrote that on the, on the, the reply to his comment. I go, yeah. No, he goes, no, he wrote, this is boring or something. He goes, this is boring, whatever. I go, yeah, we're going to do a video about cooking hot dogs, <laughs> but it's already been done. <laughs> Is this real? Did he actually fucking? Yeah, dude. Bruno's gonna pull it up, and then he wrote touche, haha. But just to okay. show, <laughs> so at least he's self-aware. Yeah, that that's a ridiculous thing to do. Yeah. Super on... monkey. No, Super it's monkey. Uh... on the uh, on the episode with um, yeah. with Josh Bureau. Yeah, I'm looking at it right now. Or a clip or something. Ah, well, now. Or you could just go to the comments. No one check. Uh... Either way, you say you have a, a show tonight. Well, he looks for that. Or, uh, yeah, I'm or going last night show. actually. Uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. I heard really it was happened. great. Yeah, it was a great show. You killed, eh? By the way, because <laughs> it's going to air Monday. On Monday. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so, so, so it will have already happened. Yes. Yeah. I mean, last night four shows. Tonight one or two. Okay. Wait, Monday one or two shows. <laughs> Fucking hell. Uh, Monday two. It's shows. like memento. Yeah. <laughs> what happened? If, first? if this is Monday, I got two shows. Okay, tonight. you got two shows. <laughs> okay. <tonight. laughs> yeah. Okay. And last night, where was your show, a.k.a. tonight? Uh, Sunday. Mauvais Garçon and okay. uh, Third Floor. With Jamie Boom Boom. With Jamie Boom Boom. <laughs> Mauvais you guys Garçon. Know Jamie? Yeah, I, yeah I, he, he emceed a couple of weddings that I DJed. No way. Yeah. That, well, first of all, what does that guy not do? Like, he's an MC. He, he does manscape commercials. Podcast. Good looking guy, fuck. Like, yeah, uh, good looking guy. I don't know why I had to mention that. Wow. 
it's, it's funny. He he. Sometimes when he when he's uh, when he's emceeing weddings. He feels, I feel like he feels like he's at a UFC fight. Oh, And shit. he's like, ladies and gentlemen, the first dance! Like, oh, bro! Like, oh, my God. Introducing, weighing in at 245 pounds. Yeah, I don't think the bride wanted you to, I don't think the bride wanted you to mention groom, that. but uh, if there's a bride, bride 245, it's what is it, a Samoan wedding? <laughs> <laughs> From Tonga, Okaloa. Tonga, Takaloa. Uh yeah, so uh, you you are a busy guy. Uh, Josh, uh, who runs the third floor, right? Yes. Uh, that's tomorrow. That's Sunday. That's tonight. Yes. <laughs> I'm all fucked up now. Yeah, I'm same here, dude. Yeah. That's uh, tonight, and uh, it's fun, man. Tonight, uh, Jason Hole is hosting. It's fun. The Sunday night shows are running like two to three hour long. Oh, that's cool. Depending okay, that's the one where he where he said, uh, yeah, everybody gets a shot to go on, exactly. right? Exactly. Whoever signs up. They're going on stage. Okay, so All it's right. a long show. It's a long show. Yeah. yeah, I guess that could that could be that could be good or bad. I guess depending. It's good. It's like the last place of the night that you go. I have a show beforehand, and I'm gonna go there. Okay, and like. So are you making show. real talk? You making shadow off this? You making money? Or? <laughs> I'm making off to live in Montreal. <laughs> so off of just comedy? Yes. That's amazing. Is you that why you moved out? Of, if that's, that's why you moved from that's Toronto? Why I moved yeah, because from Toronto, you, <laughs> Toronto, you wouldn't be able. No, you'd be, no, no, you'd no. be pro. Toronto, I was like fifty percent, like making fifty percent of what I needed. Here, I'm making hundred percent. That's oh, okay. a difference in living prices. <laughs> like, yeah, it's double. So, eh? it's double. It's double. It's double the but rent. That mean, that and not just that. Car insurance is like quadruple. Oh, really? Yeah. What? More thefts or more? Is it because there's more Asians? More blacks? I don't know, bro. I don't know. Uh, in Vancouver, it must be fucking yeah, in Vancouver. ten times the amount. But, ten thousand dollars. But comedy. A month. <laughs> but how it works is like y- your job should pay double. So the comedy doesn't pay double in. Uh, in uh... No, no, no. no I, I was barely getting paid out there. Um, really. I when I produced a few shows, I would get some. Well, that's yeah, because you're bringing it. Uh, but in Toronto, I wasn't getting paid that much. When I came here, Sid, the Nest, Josh, Just Sid, they all started working, uh, working with me, giving me opportunities. Shout yeah. out to Sid. Shout out to Sid. <laughs> Shout out to uh, where are you going? The the fucking uh, Middle East. Moving on to Dubai. Dubai. Shout out to Dubai too. Shout out to Dubai. <laughs> yeah. Shout the out. whole country. This is because la- last time he, last time uh, Hadi was here, he, we talked about the fucking. Uh, yeah, but that was Saudi Arabia though. The line is the line Saudi or is it Pretty Dubai? Sure. Sure the oh, line same Saudi, yeah. fucking. What's a, it's a? It's literally a, a line in the sand. The difference between those two things. Yeah, literally <laughs> so line in the sand. <laughs> but you, you grew up Beautiful in Dubai. Place. I grew Dubai. up in Dubai. Okay. Um, it's nice, man. I'm going back in December. That's cool. Is there is there a comedy scene there? I applied. There's one comedy club. There's I, one really? comedy club in Dubai. That I found one. I'm sure, like you know, Russell Peters comes. He does an arena. Yeah. But like, there's one comedy club. I sent them a message. No response. <laughs> but uh, there's a Montrealer we know who's doing it. Carly Baker. Okay. She's from like Amsterdam. Now she lives here. She's working the club in Dubai. What? Yeah. Right now, I. A female. Yeah. That's they're cool. allowed that. They are allowed. They're allowed to be seen in public. They're gonna laugh at her, not with her. But yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm joking. I love you, Carly. I wonder. I wonder. Thank you for what, the. I wonder info. what's funny there. Like what? Instead like, of shooting tomatoes, they throw stones. <laughs> 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 yeah, I've gotten stoned in every country except for Dubai. Um, it, it, it's, no, uh, Dubai is quite Western, in all honesty. Well, I mean, in and certain ways, I'm sure. Yeah, it's quite Western compared to the rest of the Arab world. But I heard at the same like, time. They're not allowed, like, there's no, like, public displays of affection in public. Like, you're not allowed to... Good. Like, kick. Yeah, 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 honestly, good. good. I agree, good. good. I agree, and they don't want to see fucking two gross people I making out on the bro. fucking bus, bro. That's disgusting. No. At, at the comedy show yesterday, there was a girl sitting on a guy's lap. Ah, oh, fuck off. Bro, I'm on stage. I'm oh. like, are you sitting on his lap? She gets off. I'm like, what are you doing anyway? What are you, you don't have a house? Like, uh, what are, you, are they nine years old where they have to go fucking in the playground and figure each other? Like, are we they just nine years old? <laughs> I mean, 19? Are they from fucking Point St. Charles? Dude? Have some respect, man. It's gross to <laughs> do stuff like that in public. And, it's, and people are going to say, oh, it's because you're jealous. You don't have that. No. You no, want to have girlfriends. They can, don't fucking touch me in public. Like, I don't even want to fucking like, hold you. What's the point of holding hands? Tell me the reason. Tell me a reason. And in I'll, a crowd, so you don't lose hand, each other. Holding hands is fine. Holding hands is fine. What's the, what's the point? So you don't lose each other in a crowd. You don't know how they look? Are they blind? <laughs> eh? Do you not have a phone to contact them after? Like, if, what's the point of doing This person belongs to me. I'm fucking, this is my property. It's like a dog. It's like I'm yeah, walking see, but, the person. But then that should be allowed in Dubai then. Dogs? No. Women holding only, hands. Only find out they're on this a leash. person belongs to me. Only, are you going to like that shtick? I did. Fuck, man. This guy. Okay, so when you grew up, this was what? 14 years ago. Okay. When I left. So, I was, it was w- one to 14. <laughs> put it back. Put it back after. <laughs> put it back after. That's so, it was 
it was fully developed like it is now. Like it's. Yeah, I mean, it was. It grew over the years. Like when I left at fourteen, it was quite something, quite a difference from when. Okay. It, it, it was though, right? Because I I thought that the AE AEU UAE UAE, a, UAE was like invented in the year two thousand because that's when I heard of it. Dude. I didn't hear about it before that. Essentially, like seriously, like, go ahead. Uh, there's fucking. Uh, yeah, it just popped out of nowhere. <laughs> you know, to us, us <laughs> Westerners. Yeah. No, like this is how I feel. Like I was in. Like what happened that they just started fucking. It was a money like they they started building shit really high. Like when we started hearing about that shit, like well, it's kind of like uh, the, no one was going to Dubai before for vacation. Is what I'm saying. Or fucking. It wasn't a thing really until the '90s where things really started. Is that a pass? Yeah. '90s, I think. Yeah, because my I, dad started working there in about '91, <laughs> '90, 90, maybe '88. Okay. And it was nothing. It was like a desert. Yeah, exactly. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, that's it was like it. Vegas back in the day. Is yeah. it because they yeah, hadn't yeah, yeah. struck oil yet, or like is they there... just hadn't started building things? It, there it was, was like the line. They always now. had money. They always they always had like these because the princes were always known to be like like super. From, from what I understand, it's it we're was a history lesson. It was here, more of like a nomads area. Nomads land. It was like nomads walking around. Um, Les Bedouins. Bedouins, exactly. Beautiful culture. My brother. Uh, what is that? Look, you elaborate. Bed- like mountain people. Like, like goats? Camels. Oh, camels. There are, ca- there are goats as well. But <laughs> yeah, like, like uh, Morocco. Or like okay. uh, the Maghreb. Anyway, like they're... travelers. Like desert yeah. travelers. Okay, so they would Merchants, go... traveling that merchants. That or the hit squad. Just say gypsy, bro. Oh, this sounds they're... a lot like gypsy. <laughs> though. That... You're just evading from the word gypsy. Uh, <laughs> merchant <European>. travelers. <laughs> <laughs> is that what gypsy is? That's exactly what gypsy well, is. It's pretty much a gypsy okay. to me. Gypsies are mostly like European. There's a very, though, there's yeah. a very... Is gypsy a slur at this point? I think it's a negative. There's definitely a negative connotation. Well, okay. when, you tell, when you call someone something that means they have no home. And that they rob people. They don't. Or have don't give any contribution to society at all. <laughs> yeah, but then there's the uh, Tyson Fury, the Gypsy King. He's uh, a Gypsy King, right? <laughs> 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 yeah, but we'll see. That's I think that's uh, that's just I like mean, a, he's maybe playing on it a little, yeah, yeah, taking but, ownership of it. Yeah, he's a, see, King. I think King I don't outweighs think he's a real King gypsy. either. Yeah. You know? Yeah, you can't be a gypsy king, right? Wow. Well, it's like, it's like, if, it's you, like, if you're the king of the gypsies, you get a little like, respect. Jesus little, is what, king of the slaves? Respect, yeah, like one right? bedroom apartment. <laughs> That's it. You know, It's like the head of the SS. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Got a bit of respect. Funny you go there. I respect the gypsy they, king. They let him gypsy go king's and, a fucking animal, dude. And they let him create NASA. Yeah, he's a fucking monster. Do you, do you watch, and, and he, do you watch boxing? I don't, but like I, I, I see a bit of it, but... Oh. It's Everybody that, watches boxing. It's crazy that that's what peak performance looks like. Like, yeah, bro. He's belly he, fat. He looks nuts. like just a. Dad. Oh, that guy. That's the like the, the, the fucking. Fury? Okay, that's the Gypsy King. That's the Gypsy King. Oh, okay, yeah. bro. He's six foot nine, two eighty, two ninety. He's six foot nine. Six foot nine, I think. That's a yeah, Chara, you, you don't want to fight that guy. I don't know if that's <laughs> six seven or six nine. The Gypsy King. Fuck, big dude. boy. Yeah. That's so tall. You're, you're a big uh, uh, sports. Uh, what's it called? Uh, how Fight would you call fans. combat Fight sports fans. For yes. fan? Yeah, I boxed when I was a kid. I started in Dubai. There oh, was yeah. a there was a gym called. So against uh, against your sisters? Uh... <laughs> <laughs> only only, only, only cousins. Um, there was a place Top Sport. I forget what it was called. There was a trainer there in Dubai. In Dubai, there's a lot of English. Eh? Like there's a, there's a lot of English. <laughs> Coach was an old guy named Frank. So he is six nine. Frank. Fuck. Frank. He was Tekashi. a big black guy. Frank? Uh, yeah. Another Dubai. Frank. And <laughs> Gangster Man, he put me through like some good training. I was 13, 14. So you had the helmet on and everything, right? Like it's. Uh... Yeah, most of it was like on the bag and pads and running. Oh, you around. never you never did a fight? We did. We did a few times. Sparring. Okay. Sparring, yeah. Sparring, sparring. But you didn't have, you didn't go in the ring. What's the. You can start us as, as low as 13, no? To, go, to get in the ring, I'm sure. Um, yeah, for sure. I mean, well, you I can got at eight, as long as you're in with other eight-year-olds. In eight the gym, <laughs> one time they put me with like. A more serious sparring match, they say go a little harder. Uh-huh. And then one time I fought one of my brother's friends in a squash court. Headgear on. Oops, my bad. No, really? Okay. Headgear on, going at each other. It was, we made a video about it a long time ago. Is it still out there? No, it's taken down. Don't lie to me. We're going to find it. You might be able to. <laughs> I don't know if you'll be able to. Wait, you took it down or it got taken down? It got taken down. My brother was, uh, he had the video and everyone was going to uni. No one wanted this video of them fighting online. Oh. Wow, yeah. was it a fucking blood sport? Did, it end up, someone, I mean, did someone it's, die it's, in the video? They're in a squash court. It was yeah. basically fucking like uh, Kimbo Slice boxing that exactly. they used to do, right? It's a bunch it was, of kids in a yeah. fucking squash court yeah. beating each other. Yeah. Uh, not a good look. No. <laughs> With protective it. headgear. No, I mean. Yeah, yeah. but still. Still I mean, kids. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, this is Tyson Fury. Uh, look at him. That's before. That's, uh, I enjoyed being fat. that's during the depression phase. 
when uh, when he gained not weight. Not all fat people are depressed. <laughs> <laughs> and not all depressed people are fat. Yeah. Oh well, yeah, we are. Wait, which one would be? I mean, yeah. he's not that much of a slob now because he's. Uh, no, but it's no, go no, look look to the left, like that picture on the left of him. That's more of how he looks now. That's not even him, bro. What are you talking about? <laughs> no, that's more of how he looks now, though. But he doesn't, he on the, hasn't no, played. no, on the right, on the yeah, right. Yeah, there you yeah, go. Yeah, yeah. I thought go up a little bit. I thought you were talking about <laughs> fucking Deontay. On the who's, who's that guy? Deontay Wilder, the guy he fought, and then uh, Klitschko, the Fuck, you know them all. Former uh, Russian champ. You're like well, you're like the guys that know the porn star names. The guy, the guys that know the porn stars. Like this guy over here, he knows I porn. Know. He knows I know, porn I know a handful. A he, knows, star he knows a yeah, handful. Yeah, a handful of them. Bro, the only one I know is Corey Chase. Is who? Corey Chase. I don't know that one. The MILF. She does like uh, stepmom videos. You like that? The, the Corey Chase one. I guess so. She's yeah. the one that keeps popping up. Google knows me better than me or whatever she keeps it is. popping you up. But yeah. Uh, okay, so start off from boxing. And then you, now you, you, like, you, you avidly follow boxing. Like you know what's going on. Who's your favorite oh. boxer? At this point, I'm not like a big boxing fan. More MMA? Yeah. Okay. Okay. If Who's I watch it? boxing, it's a Tyson Fury fight. Um, he's still fighting. Yeah, yes. yeah, he's a monster. You know what? Uh, or 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 it's it's Mike Tyson coming out of retirement. Yeah, I watched fight that. A draw. It was a bit. It's it kind of sad. It's kind of sad. But he's he's still. He's, he's fucking, gangster. He's spry as fuck, dude. Yeah, he's yeah, got yeah. That, that. He still has that punch. But they're man. not punching each other to the head. It's like no, little, I know. They're I know. Little body punches. Like when he trains, like it was uh, a peak check for everybody. Like let's not. Yeah. They literally course. said let's not put each other to the hospital. Exactly. Right. Yeah, they're old guys. Yeah. Fifty something. But in the end, like that's so. And it's called an exhibition, so you know that going in. But like people that are paying for that fight, this is this is a million dollar thing. It's kind of like we want death. You yeah. know, like uh, people see Kilo Fleur there when they don't want to see like the veterans heritage hockey game. Like they're not going full pin, Kirk Muller. Against yeah, I yeah, guess but so. those tickets are three hundred dollars. Like they are like like uh, that's a difference, right? The market speaks. <laughs> yeah, I, I mean, I guess. So uh, last no, night was uh, I, I rather, actually I I rather watch fucking young up and comers, dude. Cause they're the ones that are they're 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 fucking showcasing their skills like they want to make it in the it's like watching U twenty hockey uh, mm. or or soccer or any fucking sport like Jake Paul. <laughs> wow. Well, yeah, that's a spry I mean, twenty year old. I mean, he, he's 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 pretty fucking uh, he's pretty good. He's pretty good. You know, Fish he's good, man. They're, they're in talks. Did you see that Andrew Tate. And Andrew Jake, Tate. Yeah. I saw that. Yeah. The are you talk. serious? That's gonna happen? So these all just just all celebrity but, fights but now. But this is the thing. Even Tate, he's not a boxer. Well, he's, he's a he's, kickboxer. Yeah, for sure. And yeah. it's all different, man. This yeah. is the thing. When you put a boxer in front of him, we'll see what happens. Yeah. Until he's fighting all these guys who are like yeah, trying to dude. change their skill set into boxing. Well, it's hard to just stop doing everything you know. Like, yeah. okay, usually I'm going to use my legs and I'm going to kick this guy and that's yeah. how I'm going to fucking... Until I get to this range. And he has legs. His him. legs go up to his throat, I just say, right? That's, that's it. the thing. Yeah, I don't think it's a good move for Andrew Tate personally because uh, well, if he so. loses, it's a money fight. It's a big money fight. It's a yeah, money but fight. if he loses, his alpha dog bullshit status goes right out the window. Does it? I mean, you lost to Jake Paul. Yeah, I mean, I mean, come on. I mean, listen. Yeah, it does. I'd it lose does. To Jake Paul, bro, I'd fucking lose to him. Well, <laughs> I would yeah. lose to. I'd lose to anybody, but I'm just saying. This is. I'm just saying for I'd lose him. to RuPaul. <laughs> <laughs> you get fucking taken out. <laughs> but I think his brother's a savage. Logan. Yeah. Logan, Logan uh, Paul. Jake, is, Jake is more. Of the I fighter, think Jake is the f- more of a the boxer. I, no? Okay, I, I I like Logan more. Yeah, everybody does. Okay, and did you, you saw him in WWF or WWE yeah. rather? He's insane. When he was fighting, um, he was fighting Roman Reigns. Yeah, and he put on a hell of a show, dude. Mm. Yeah, the guy jumping is, into tables. Anything and shit. these guys do, the two brothers, they do a hundred percent. That's Good why. Talented, you, that, that's why you love him, love him or hate him. You got to give him that. Like I don't want to call it respect, but at least acknowledgement. It is respect. No, but it's I really hate. I really hate. You have to Jake. respect him, you know. Like, but you have to acknowledge that the guy works hard. Like uh, at everything yeah, yeah, he for does. Sure. You know. Recognize. Yeah. What? Let's put on the hot dog video. With my hand. Yeah. <laughs> How am I making noise with my head? No, because the mic is like, it's not like a... Four There's four beers here, eh? You drinking what's, beers? What's, you, it, what's, uh, the, what's it picking up? Hey, Addy. Probably touching the mic in general. No, 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 Thank you, man. Eh? Appreciate it. Well, just ignore you grab here. Is there vodka in that power aid? No, no. It's never been a problem. Staying hydrated for the show. That's it. Is that water in them? Is it because my too loud? Light beer. Yeah, this is what... This one's the non-alcoholic one for me. Yeah, pretty much. Because it's really sensitive up there. I'll just put it right here. On my lap. Yeah, it's not 
put it on my lappy lap. Are you want to go to uh, what was his name? The guy that uh, that tried to roast. Uh... Okay, but but we're gonna show his video. Give him clout, Bruno. Who cares? He's got fucking forty fucking. <laughs> did you watch the fights as well last night? I did watch the fights. You did? Yeah, like solid, uh, dude. Yeah, I, I, but at what point I was just thinking like. There's a lot of knockouts, right? Yeah. Like, is that what you want? Like, or do you want to fight? Like, I think the viewer is never really happy, you know? Like, you want to... I want knockouts. No, no, I was happy last night. I was <laughs> yeah, happy people, as fuck last night. People want knockouts. Yeah? People want finishes. There was blood. There was knockouts. I seen a crucifix. Yeah. It was nuts. Okay, I guess. Well, like, you don't want to see the fight go, like, log, like... Uh... Well, ideal is 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 the main, right? The we got, main, yeah, like, five, five rounds, and there was a knockout in the fifth round. And same with the yeah. Dustin Poirier. We went three rounds, and... Finishing the third round. That okay. was, I think that was probably fight of the night. Man. It was, it was. Yeah. Poirier uh, Chandler. Yeah, yeah. Insane. No, you got to go to the last fight. No, I mean the guy fucking. No, it was fucking Sorry. more action. Yeah, you know what I mean? A lot more action. It's yeah. packed tight. <laughs> yeah, but the last one was a, a title bout. Was that one a title yes. bout too? Yeah. No, yeah. No. There were, yeah. Uh, no, it was the th- the third last fight. Yeah, and the guy was losing going into the <laughs> fifth round. I don't care what anybody says. Like he was which, down. Which one? Who? The challenger who won there uh, in, the f- in the fifth fight. Pereira, yeah. yeah. Oh, in the last fight? Pereira. Yeah, he was, lo- he was down in the- going into the Pereira fifth round. Pereira was losing huh? the fight, yeah. Yeah. He came out bugles blaring in the last round as he knew he had to. <clears throat> they gave him like a Brazilian Rocky speech in the corner. You can do it. Yeah. Push yeah. harder. Exactly. Finish him. Well, they, 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 they said that he was winning, which was weird. But, uh, <clears throat> in the corner. but even the, uh, the Frankie Edgar fight where he got that fucking flying knee. Yeah. Hard. So and then he retired immediately yeah, after. Yeah, that's sad. I mean, I, I hate it when someone's like, "I'm gonna do one last fight." It always yeah. sounds so bad. They go out, they get knocked out they again. Get the fuck out! The whole crowd's sad. They well, fucking take him out on a stretcher. I, I think that's what they were trying to do to um, <sighs> to uh, what's his name to make him fight um, Chimaev, Nate Di- Diaz. Diaz? Yeah. I think they were trying to punk out Nate Diaz. Yeah, they were trying to give him at a... the end, like just make him catch a fucking beating. Yeah, nobody likes Hamza. that guy. Eh? So, is, what, what about the conspiracy? Do you believe that like the aliens Hamza... them? Never... Uh, missed weight on purpose because the UFC told him to. Could, like, were they going back on that? Uh, like how that whole thing went down. I don't know crazy. too much about this story. What's, I, what's, I just, what's the conspiracy to elaborate for the people that okay, don't so know? I, like, I the, heard at the beginning it was the doctor that said it's not smart for you to cut more weight at this point, so he just didn't cut weight. And then there was a conspiracy saying that they did it on purpose to switch the matches. Okay. I don't know the entire conspiracy. Do you know you know more about yeah, it? Yeah, so do? Hamza Chimaev was mashed up against Nate Diaz, right? And um, as the fight got closer, people are just like, Nate's gonna die. Yeah, the UFC's fucking him. Uh, Hamza's gonna kill him, and then Hamza misses weight by nine pounds. Yeah, uh, he Which fights somebody block, else dude. at the exact same weight. Nate in Diaz or weight class. Nate Diaz or Hamza. Hamza. Okay. He like, yeah. It's almost like he missed weight on purpose. Yeah, but so so but why, but why does it Nate Diaz yeah. have to fight now? He did. He, he fought. Uh, he, he fought someone else. Fought someone okay. Else who weighed in at the I, same? I forget who he fought. Tony. Now. Tony Ferguson. That was Tony Ferguson. Yeah. Yeah. Which is like okay, old man fight in the in the headline, but okay, it's a little sad. And, yeah, and what happened? Otherwise, did, did, Ferguson. Uh, Hazman, how you how you say it? Uh, Hamza. <laughs> Hamza. Did he win? Yeah, he won his fight. Okay. Yeah, he dominated. And he, he was, also, he he was beefing with that guy also earlier, which is funny. Like, there was no... It was the first time, I think, there was no... Uh, um, uh, th- they did the weigh-in, but there was no beforehand, like, press uh, conference. Press conference before the fight. Because they yeah. were fighting outside the press conference. It was mm-hmm. the first time in history, I think, there was no press conference. Yeah. So they yeah. fought again last fight. Apparently, they ran. They run with like crews of. I think Nate Diaz walks around with like twenty something people. Yeah, it's nuts. And then Hamzat walks around with like thirty something people. So they just all had like these mini armies, and they yeah. fucking met head to head backstage. All roided up, fucking everybody, down. dude. Like think about everybody in that circle. It was like, it's southern, like southern I'm a badass. I'm a tough versus... guy. You know, like yeah, yeah. Bro, well, honestly, dudes, I'm gonna though, say so. something right now. Okay, like uh, this is like. 90, I would, and correct me if I'm wrong, but 90% of people in the UFC grew up as scumbag human beings, bro. For well, <laughs> I was like, just, 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 I would say scumbags. Like, uh, 90% of the fighters, you think? Yeah. Like from, from 80, shitty beginning. I'll ah. say 80. Or they started fights at clubs. They were the guys that would fucking uh, pick on people in school. They were or fucking, got picked on. You know, beat their wives. 
or got beaten by their wives. Whatever. Twenty percent. Twenty percent. No, you want to go the other way? No, twenty percent. No way. He said Ninety. He said that's way I too said much. 80. I don't think. Eighty. So you said eighty? Yeah. They stem from I think this. It's, it's neither eighty nor twenty. It's somewhere around. 41 or 37. That's so much, bro. You're going to roast that many fighters? Yeah, <laughs> gonna fucking There's a lot of fighters, dude. That's a lot, dude. I'm not talking like the, the big head name brands, but like yes. there's a lot of fighters. And maybe not just in UFC, but like also in, in fucking uh, 20, man. Bellator. To stay or, in a martial arts gym for that long and get that good, you got to be somewhat respectful of people because you can't learn that much be an asshole. Sometimes you no, can't. No, no, right? no. Wait, I wait, say no, that they started I'm off as scumbags. came from like that a was shitty... The... A, okay. a shitty upbringing, and that's why they. Yeah, needed that, that was out. like their. That was like their Jesus Christ. Okay, so they, <laughs> you know, you know, they're fucking. Uh, their they're, sins. Yeah, yeah, yeah maybe. maybe. You know, like that's and their then way they of found martial arts. Then they found martial arts, okay. and because martial arts, you're right, does it, it does have like a lot well, of like almost religious, a almost mm-hmm. a religious fucking uh, attachment to it, right? Minus like, the religion aspect. Well, I mean, they look at like look at the crazy ones, like the ninjas and shit, and the fucking uh, yeah, and that's, the, that's and just the samurais. honor. No, these guys that their whole life is dedicated to this, bro. Yeah, it's but fucking or was I don't know if they still exist. I was what, asking ninjas. Yeah, I don't know if ninjas still exist. We brought up, uh, I think before podcast, you were talking about Yiri Prohaska a little bit. Yeah. So. What is that? A, a dish? He's the. <laughs> it's a delicious Polish it's a spicy shit, dish. Yeah. <laughs> He's the light heavyweight. With chickpeas. Uh, the he, light heavyweight champ of the UFC, and he's, uh, he's, he's is he Czech? Is he from Czech Republic? Uh, no, you think he's Polish? Polish. Okay. Uh, he follows this book called Musashi, uh, the oh, book yeah, of the saying. book of Ten Rings by Musashi, and it's like the philosophy of samurai. And this Polish guy, he like he's all in on samurai culture. Locks himself in a fucking room for three days, no light, um, no, no food. food. And he just sits there meditating. And He's no like, soft I, drinks. I had to fight my demons. It's like yeah. an animal, dude. That's okay. Could, That's... You, could you do that for like an hour and a half? I couldn't even do that for an hour and a half. No food or fucking or light? <laughs> I don't know if that's. I a, need my food and light. I don't know I'm if sorry. that's. A, <laughs> <laughs> I mean, uh, I don't really have to to have uh, light, but food I think is important. Three days is a bit excessive. Uh, that's a real thing. Like, what does that yeah. do to you? It, it makes I don't know. I mean, it, it center yourself, calm yeah. down, don't you let your mi- thoughts mind control full. you. I get if you, if you believe makes you doing, hallucinate. I'm if sure. If you believe you're doing good, you believe you're doing good. I guess right to yourself. You know, your mind is a powerful thing. You could say the same thing. Yeah. You, the same achievement could I think could, the same thing could be achieved if you stood on top of a volcano and fucking uh, ran a marathon yeah you, you know what I mean or mm-hmm. to put yourself in some sort of fucking like David Goggins style exactly well, you ever hear the story yeah and and also not sleeping too does it yeah. So yeah sleep deprivation is well he didn't sleep for three days I think he could sleep I think, I think he, he slept there. yeah oh, I, just, I would have just slept for three days know that I could do it too <laughs> then like what I do during Yom Kippur yeah what's the difference <laughs> just sleep for 26 hours a polar bears in there <laughs> <laughs> no yeah, I problem. All dark. Ah, <laughs> no light. Close the light. <laughs> you know, <laughs> it's like right after Thanksgiving, you just go in three <laughs> you days. Just really hung home. over that guy, and he just wanted to stay in a dark room for three days. I mean, there's some fucking weekends where I could do the same. No kidding. You know? Yeah. Let's see how this guy cooks the hot dog here. This piece of shit here. This beautiful video. The hot dog uh, cooking. In the pan with no. Uh, Haunted pet cage? Cubalini. What is it? 56 views? It's from two years ago. Yeah, I think I watched it 10 times, though, so it had like <laughs> What is he doing? He's just... Oh, the video will explain itself. But it's just him... This is the this is uh, the two and a half minute video? Yeah. <clears throat> is there commentary? There's sound, yeah. It's quite sad. First of all, dude, what is he doing? Who <laughs> cooks <laughs> one hot dog? One hot dog. That's weird too. It's true. Yeah. One of anything. Cooking one of anything is weird. Yeah, I need two of everything at least. <laughs> you know. People have told me that in my last video I was not energetic enough. Is he freestyling? Like this, so yeah. so he's being very see? racist towards I'm Italians. Is that what he's doing? I don't know. Is that his Italian impression? Is this douche? <laughs> Is he doing Borat? Or yeah, Italian? I don't know. Pause it for a second so we don't get copyrighted by this, uh, by this uh, I don't, I don't artist. Know if we'll get uh, copyrighted. 
So yeah, wow. this guy has the balls to go and uh, and flame somebody. Wouldn't you? What, like, what are you flaming? What was this about again? It was the Josh thing, the French. Uh, oh, I can see okay. why people hate French people. Look at the videos they put out. <laughs> fuck. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's, it's wow. him cooking a fucking hot dog. This guy. Poor, this poor French guy. He doesn't even know how to cook hot dogs. Well, it cooked. It all in his defense. Good for him, man. Someone, Good. someone probably watched this and learned how to cook a hot dog. Not the right way. Not he's, the right way. He's breeding a, a a whole army of fucking retard hot dog cookers in a pan with no nothing. No, ugh. dude, I'm gonna try this recipe for my girlfriend. <laughs> yeah. Hey, babe, you know what? Actually, <laughs> I've changed my mind. This guy's a pioneer. <laughs> He, he read the package and said, boil hot dog in water. He's like, fuck that. No, not that. <laughs> yeah, fuck the water. I'm doing it like this. I mean, what's the difference between the that and like a skillet or like a pan? Or, there's nothing really different. It's still it's still metal on, on heat. We're making fun of the guy. Yeah. Trying to make it funny. I, I'm kind of, I'm in, the mood for, <laughs> I'm in the mood for one hot dog now. Yeah? yeah well, no, never one. Never one. I can eat fucking six off. hot dogs right now. I kind of want to make a hot dog. Uh, me too. I'm gonna get some jerky on the way to the Bell Pro. But sprinkle uh, jerky okay. in the hot dog. But that's a, do you like hot dogs? Uh, you hot dogs. Honestly, no. When there, if there's a um, a barbecue, I'm going straight for the burger. I usually skip the hot dog. I have a second burger. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So you don't you don't like Bell Pro Vase? Uh, yeah. I mean, huh? I take poutine when I go there. Yeah. yeah. Well, why? It's because of the pork. Because of the pork. No, just I don't know. Hot dogs well, kind of lame for hot me. Hot dogs are like uh, an amalgam of. Probably fourteen different yeah. with pork, pork is definitely in there though. Yeah, like, rabbit, there's probably a yeah. fraction. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Squirrel. There's squirrel. Yeah. There's, there's no Horse way there isn't cock. squirrel mm -hmm. and raccoon in hot dogs. Dog. What's you your little bit of little there? bit of Lassa Abso in that Horse dog? Horse for sure. There's horse for sure. There's you think there's horse in hot dog? No. Yeah, 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 yeah. No. There's for sure like bones and bullshit. stuff. Rats, a hundred percent. No. Rats, a hundred percent. I guarantee you, they test hot dogs. They find some. They just fall. In the blenders while they're making it. Oh, well, that's fine. I'm that not saying that they don't. Put, they don't <laughs> <laughs> I didn't say there's big old blenders and rats are. They don't in. on purpose throw them in. No, no, no. I'm if just a saying. rat that lives in the factory. Yes. So it's like Elvis. Who, if Elvis. Who uh, told you that? I don't know. Bro. <laughs> <laughs> I don't fact check. <laughs> Because that's uh, yeah, that's it, right? <laughs> Joe Rogan told me that uh, <laughs> that there's mice. First of all, it happens. There was a story about that happening with Oasis. Do you remember this? I heard that was a bat. I thought that was a bat in the Oasis box. Yeah. Like the guy felt like it was weird, so he cut open. The, What's an Oasis? Uh, it's like the juice. It's juice. The oh, juice boxes, but yeah, like the yeah, big yeah, two yeah, liter juice boxes. The, uh, a rat in a juice box. I, I saw it was a bat. I thought. Uh, Whatever. Some sort of. Uh, it was either a rat, like, bat, or a cat. <laughs> <laughs> like perfectly in a juice box. Like. Well, like it, was it, dead. It, it probably <laughs> f fell probably in the they before, before they put the juice in it, or after they put the juice in it, and they packaged. So the guy, the guy, the guy must have. Yeah, yeah. Drank. So how's about that? You like juice? You want eat hot dogs? But you like juice? Dude. Hey, you want to come to Yeah, there's rats in there too. Rats everywhere, bro. Welcome to America. Should have stayed to fucking Dubai if you didn't want that fucking rat shit here. <laughs> like, you ever eat at a breakfast restaurant downtown? <laughs> Shut up. There's rats. Uh, Eddie, you ever eat at a restaurant Eddie downtown? Restaurant downtown? There's yeah. rats. In the food. <laughs> yeah. In cooking. The food. You ever seen rat around the food. You ever seen rat tattooing? <laughs> true story. <laughs> I've seen it. True yeah. story. It's a true yeah, story. That was based on a, a rat chef from the plateau. <laughs> <laughs> that rat bastard. <laughs> No, there's, there's, bro. I've, I've worked in restaurants downtown, many of them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I promise you, every single one I've worked at, there's been a, a, a rodent problem. Guaranteed. Like I'm just doing a comedy show, and as the audience all left, we just saw a fucking rat run across the floor. We're like, thank God. <laughs> Inside, <laughs> thank God. eh? In the yeah. comedy club, just fucking. Wow, that's fucking. I'm not gonna disgusting. say where. Yeah, <laughs> no, that's fine. Well, there's a story. Where we we were in the Dominican Republic, uh, and. Uh, the to find the food there, you know, it's like uh, it's all like we were like on the beach, so it's like fries and shit. So like when we finally found this place that would do like authentic like food, like fucking plantains and fucking uh, nice. whatever it was, their curry shit, whatever the fuck they eat, those guys. We would we, <laughs> we'd go there, like we wouldn't go there, but we never went there. But we sent this guy to get it, like four days out of seven that we were there. No joke, right, okay. bro? Remember that, eh? And uh, but we never went there, 
right? Okay. And, okay. <laughs> and oh, then, and then you finally did. <laughs> and then the last, and it was amazing. They would come in styrofoam containers, and fucking, uh, it was great food. Dude, look at that thing. The last day. <sighs> That's well, disgusting. That's something else. That's something else. I'm talking about a That's still gross, though. Yeah, that's dole. Dole. I know. I don't think Oasis exists, though. I'm just going to Oasis exists. No. I can get... Oh, it might have been a rat, then. Anyways, long story short, the last day, they're like, uh, these guys are like, okay, we want to go to the place, the restaurant. I'm like, okay, whatever. I don't want to go. I'm staying here. Bring me back my food. So I stayed at the place. These guys went. They come back and tell me that while they were there, while they were eating... A giant rat ran out in front of everybody, like in the in the fucking in the. It started jerking off. <laughs> in, the, in the fucking what, what the fuck is it called? In the lobby restaurant. I guess. Yeah, the restaurant, and a chef came from the back with like a long pointed spear, and stabbed it. <laughs> and I'm like, oh and my god! And, and and then it got away. It just bled and ran away. <laughs> oh, <man. laughs> Yo. And we ate there five times. <laughs> But you know, and that wasn't the first time. Yeah, that wasn't the first time that, that, that chef had. That, that guy was just had had, a that rat was just coming to get its pain. Yeah, yeah. The, <laughs> chef had, the chef had scars too from the rat. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck, that's crazy. Stabbed it. Yeah, and that's then he, it survived. With what a pike? What, what kind of thing? Did I don't know. They said they, it was he stick. probably fashioned an old stick. Yeah, <laughs> he's the rat hunter. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck, uh, man. I wanted to know what's the, what's the food like in Dubai? Like, um, uh, it's very it's like, like, well, like na- all over the <laughs> world. <laughs> yeah, it's edible. Like, what about native shit? Like, classic native shit. Native like, shit. Like a, a a native dish Dubai because it's 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 the Emirates, right? So it's yes, United Arab Emirates. What's, I don't know what's local to the Emirates. I know Arab food in general. So I'm, that's. I'm, I'm just saying, is there like uh? So it's all like they have like places or what? I mean, uh, my mornings would start. We'd have manaish. Uh, you know, like the cheese with the bread. I know uh, cheese and bread. I like, that I know dough, those. there's that doughy kind of bread. They put the cheese on top. That sounds amazing. And they already. fold it. Okay, sounds like a Danish. Like, it's like a like folded a... pizza. Uh, okay, okay, okay. For breakfast. I like this already. Yeah. Immediately. Yeah. Breakfast. Wow. Immediately, I'm, I'm on board. And there's like a meat version <laughs> and this za'atar version, which is like oregano. Uh, and then we usually have like sliced cucumbers, tomatoes, and stuff like that. This sounds like more of a lunch. I'm not going to lie. No, it's very... Uh... I, I like it for breakfast. Yeah, well, breakfast... Bro, this eggs, this 14 eggs, uh, ba- two pounds of bacon and shit it's is, 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 is an American we thing. We do that. Yeah, no, th- nobody does that. Well, um, North America. Yeah, and England. What else do we eat? Lunchtime, we'll it's like, I don't know, shawarmas, falafel. Well, that's what it is, right? It's okay. Fucking, yeah. That's what it is. It's a lot. Of, it's a big. A lot of vegetarians there, right? No, not no? really. I would say no, no, more no. India, dude. Yeah, I more am? India. UAE, not really. Not a lot of vegetarians, man. Okay. People no, no, no. like their. Uh, they like because their falafel chicken. is a vegetarian food, right? It's like falafel, it's, a, yes, it's, it's, it's very, it's very oh, like fala- falafel. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's well, vegetarian. Falafel, love Saint Jacques. You ever have falafel Saint Jacques? No. What? Good. It's insanity, dude. Okay. Wow. What's yeah. the best falafel you've tried here? There's a Syrian restaurant in um, what's that place called? It's like northwest. It's called uh, Beroya. Very good falafel. Troya. Beroya. Oh, Beroya. Beroya. But, you, mm-hmm. but you have to. Uh, yeah, it's a sit down place. Sit down place. Yeah, I think you can order, but yeah, I go sit down. Uh, okay. This is like this. Uh, it's this fucking like uh, hole in the wall that was started by. Well, those are the best places. Yeah, it was started by an Israeli and a fucking. Uh, yeah, it's it's uh, uh, an Israeli and a. Uh, LGBTQ yeah. Palestinian LGBTQ <laughs> activist. Um, so yeah, it's 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 kosher halal. It's fucking. Uh, it's all vegetarian. What's the What's the it's falafel Saint Jacques. So they make oh, okay, like okay. they make a general tao. Out of um, mushrooms, out of dehydrated mushrooms. Oh, they rehydrate okay. them. Yeah, and then yeah, they dehydrate them, then they rehydrate <laughs> yeah. them. It's de rehydrated <laughs> mushrooms. <laughs> but like the first time, I thought it was chicken. I thought I was eating chicken. Oh wow! It's yeah. no, it's it's phenomenal. What, what, what is this like a fusion place? No, uh, no, it's because it's, it's like general Tao. You're saying uh, yeah, but well, that's just one yeah, of the things. They, they, okay. they make, uh, it's so it's all salads and they have like the classic like Israeli yeah, salad kind of t- like tabbouleh. It's like their meat substitute kind of thing. Like okay. It's, yeah, uh, then you get all But it's uh, very. Uh, they also have their fucking uh, their Jewish bread there too. Don't they do the, the challah? Yeah, don't they do that there? Sure they got challahs. Well, they, it's mostly pitas and naan and shit. Yeah, but the girl's Jewish, no? Yeah. Yeah. Anyways, Anyways. it's good. Check it out. It's you, fucking good. It, it's, it's I can the, go for it right now. Yeah. 
the, the, the they baba fry gajus. the falafels on the spot too. So you order them and they, they they fry them there, you know. And it's the homemade pitas. It's not like uh, it's not those fucking ones you buy in the store there. So they're like they're fucking. Uh, yeah, they make everything. They make their own cookies. Yeah, they make, okay. like, yeah, it's really good. I'm fucking hungry now, dude. <laughs> Talking about food so much. Shit. Yeah, actually, I, I am too. You guys Just, eat? Uh, you order a lot. What do you guys get? Usually Uber Eats. Yeah, Uber Eats is uh, is a big part of my life. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Are you like a member? Five percent? What is that one? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Uber Pro. You got the reward. I have. The the, card. I, I, no, I, I pay for the the monthly thing. Yeah. Nice. Which is? It's, it's cheaper. You save money if you order three times. You've made your money. You saved your money. Okay. I think it's like twelve dollars, and if you order, it takes off a certain percentage every time, right, or whatever it is. You know, my my girlfriend started ordering uh, like meal preps from Good Food. Yeah. And I gotta say. They're fucking good. It's the good food, food is good? The food is good. It's expensive, though, no? It, We're doing ad reads right now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're getting promo. Uber Eats is good food. <laughs> no, but it, yeah, food, good food. The food is good. But yeah, it's... Uh, it How much is it a meal? Time. It saves you the dishes. It saves you the fucking headache of going to the grocery yeah, store. Yeah, it costs you money. How much is it? <laughs> it, it you, 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 you get the money back for the time that you would have lost. How much is it? I don't know. She pays for them. I don't know. Okay, so for you, it's definitely a good deal. You have to do dishes. Eat, I don't eat all you of them. You have to do everything. You have to I, don't pay. Eat, I don't eat all yeah, of them. Yeah, it's a win-win for you when somebody else pays for it. No shit. <laughs> really good food that time. Yeah, to me, it's just, it's, those things are all scams. How are they scams? Because it's so expensive. Food. It's not that expensive. Like, I know how to cook. Like, you know, like. Yeah, uh, but do you? I cook. We cook. Yeah, you know often? we cook. But often, you know, yeah, well, yeah, like we cook, bro. Yeah, you cook, you cook, you. Yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah. I mean, I cook enough. Okay. If I don't cook, I fucking make cereal. <laughs> cereal. I make a mean bowl of frosted flakes. <laughs> I tell you that I put just the right milk, <laughs> just the right amount of milk, milk first or All cereal do, first. Uh, cereal. Okay, there's honey, only one. Honey and then milk. Honey. Honey. Okay. What, what kind of cereal are you talking about? Like vector. Okay, so you're eating you're eating the healthy shit, you're but with honey. With honey, that's it. Yeah, that's that's smart. Like a, Vector's a meal though. Like it's like uh, Protein, Vector's good, dude. Yeah. It's got those clumps. Because like the other like the other cereals is basically candy. Is what you're eating. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. sugar, it's sugar, sugary. Candy. Then what's the best cereal? Have we had this conversation before? We have a hundred times. Yeah, we have a hundred times. What yeah. about your favorite cereal? Yeah, uh, Vector is what I eat. Oh yeah, it's Vector and it's oatmeal with peanut butter in there. That's so good. Uh, I'm really he's wrong. a healthy guy. Yeah. No hot dogs. Hell, I mean, <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> what else? Some people are skinny and they eat like shit, bro. Yeah, they're, they're the know? real lucky ones. No, I put you meat, know? whatever meat in the oven, olive oil, spices. That's, yeah, that's all you need. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. In the oven. Yeah. Like a steak, you cook it in the oven. No, be- beef, sure, on the pan. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Minced yeah, meat, yeah, tacos, yeah. burgers. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. I haven't made burgers in a long time. Having what? Made burgers in a long time. It's always so heavy. I'm just having chicken and fish now. I feel a little better. Oh yeah. Yeah. Well, I mean, no bread? bread meat definitely. Uh, bread meat just makes me so toll. tired, bro. It goes to my eyes, like you know, like, <laughs> you know that oil feeling. Yeah. In Are your you eating eyes? with your eyes? <laughs> it went right to my eyes. <laughs> Dude, you get like saggy around your fat face. eyes. If you had a porthole, you'd go blind. <laughs> <laughs> There is nothing like a good steak. Like, a, like I'll never forget the best steak I had. It's still in my mind for how good where? it was. It was a place called Ruth's Chris's Steakhouse in New York. Oh, I heard about that. You heard about that place? Yeah. yeah they, they do something where the it comes to you sizzling. And it's, I think it's the butter on the plate. They put cold butter on the plate or something. So okay. that the, the thing is sizzling. Anyways, it was just like. I, the reason I heard about that is because there's a, a basketball player, I think. He said uh, over the past couple of years, he must have spent like $850,000 at Ruth's Chris Steakhouse. I'm like, what the fuck is Ruth's Chris? <laughs> what kind of fucking name is that? Is Ruth Chris? <laughs> I don't know. It was weird. Yeah. It was like, I didn't, now looking back, I was young when I went. I think I was like 13. But uh, like, it was super, my uncle took me there. We were here. He, and it was super high class. Like, uh, Oh, it is. It's a high class spot. Yeah, it's okay. a high class spot. But, uh, you were 13, you had it? Yeah. Shit. Yeah, I remember it. You don't forget good meat. I don't. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah. Meat on my mind. <laughs> I, I, Never I, forget a good piece of meat, no? <laughs> <laughs> I think probably the best steak would be like in Texas or something like. Mm. Or Japan. Different, very different type. Yeah. I haven't had a slow roast thing in a long time. Uh, you ever eat Kobe? Uh, like uh, Wagyu? Like, like that fucking. You know? 
Me either. At Ruth is Chris's? Well, Maybe a long time ago. Ruth is Ruth is Chris. Okay. Ruth's Chris. Ruth's Chris. Like Chris the Root. Yeah, it's <laughs> good. Tiggs, read it. Uh, my eyes, no good. A beef <laughs> over <laughs> over a bill <laughs> at a Manhattan steakhouse. Did there because beef is cow. Yeah. Get it? You get it? Beef over the bill. Fucking New York Post. Uh, so a beef over the bill. This is even. Is this even a real? This is. This is New York Post, dude. Though. New York right, Post. So let's see what happened here. <clears throat> beef over a bill. A woman stabbed a man in the back after one dissatisfied customer lashed out at her fellow patron, sources said. The large group was so loud and disturbing got the attention of other diners, including Joan Thompson, who was seated at a, as a, with a younger woman at a table for two nearby. This is great writing, eh? Pretty uh, rare occasion. Ha <laughs> <laughs> Thompson allegedly <laughs> commented on the group's antics, prompted, prompted heating words from one of the partiers. I feel like I could write better than this person, whoever this is. Christopher Sadowski. Terrible. Go down. So someone got stabbed? <laughs> yeah. Over a bill, though? <clears throat> yeah, that's what I'm saying. She came to the table and said, you look like shit the way you dress. <laughs> The girls started fighting. Okay, so that was that's, that was fun. That's when it was started. It, it was still fun at that point. But then when a man from the larger party jumped into the fray Whoa. and allegedly began throwing punches, landing several on Thompson's young... Oh, this guy's fighting broads. Yo, he punched the girl a few times. That's why she reacted. No shit, dude. Thompson, 41, who was described as a regular, semi-regular customer of the steakhouse, allegedly picked up a knife, a steak knife, <laughs> and plunged it into the man's back. So it was like a brawl. Wow! And she knifed him. It's in the dinner back. and a show. <laughs> Dude, she jumped on his back with a knife and stabbed him. Dude, this is literally like a fucking. They can make a movie out of this shit right now. That's unbelievable. <laughs> but how was the steak, though? That's the question. In the end. Well, let's uh, see here. It says the the shocking incident, which <laughs> unfolded while folks dined on sixty eight dollar oh ribeyes and a hundred and eighteen dollar porterhouses, allegedly said they were delicious, and then. Uh, they started fleeing onto F West 51st Street. Oh, they didn't actually say that. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Like an idiot. <laughs> well, yeah. I mean, I flee. When I'm stabbed, I flee. <laughs> that was good. I'm like, that's that's not a bad price uh, for a porterhouse. $118? Does it say that or did you just ad lib that? That's what it says. $118 oh, okay, for a porterhouse. But they didn't say it was delicious. They didn't say it was delicious. But it, <laughs> I mean, I can assume. Way. I can assume it was delicious. Why are they Why are they throwing that in there? Why is the New York Post throwing in the yeah, that's weird. of the steak when we're talking about a stabbing? Yeah. Well, uh, yeah. I, Fuck you, Kowalski. You well, I guess it's right to in. show you that it's an expensive, high-class restaurant. Uh, you see, even the rich are crazy. That is you expect that shit at Burger King. Oh, yeah, Not at $118 dude, fucking... Have you been to the McDonald's on St. Catherine Is that the one that, that's, Bishop? That, that's, that I'm seeing TikToks of of people jumping counters and shit now? I don't know. Which one? The McDonald's? The McDonald's on Bishop and St. Why, Catherine. What happened to that one recently? It's just, it's just that. It's a shit show? Bro, it's all the McDonald's on St. Catherine, even the one closer to like McGill on St. Catherine. Yeah, that one's dude, always a shit show. They are right? wild. Yeah. I remember being in there like 2, 3 a.m. some nights. Yeah. Nothing else is open. And that's just like... Yeah, because I was That's their territory. That's the wild, wild you West. Yeah, you better watch out. They come up to you like... Hey man, give me a chicken nugget. You're like, no, I don't want to share, dude. <laughs> they want some. That's crazy. Who's they? Yeah, when you say they, they I was just about to I'm say the exact same thing. <laughs> I'm just saying the vagrants. It's, I, it's yeah. them out there, dude. <laughs> it's them they. The it's ones them who the ones who blend in the night. <laughs> Fuck, man. Not even at, even at Atwater too. Atwater's uh, pretty depressing. Yeah. Yeah, that was hey. it. Oh shit, that is the fucking bishop one. Yeah. She just grabbed like a spray bottle. Hey, off, off. It's not a cat. It is. He's a remote trio. <laughs> well, did they not give her her trio? Because I would also want my. Yeah, trio I would react in a similar fashion. Uh... Dude, that ice cream machine <laughs> better be working. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> better be working tonight, man. I seen one. I seen one in New York. Oh uh, fucking hell! Remote trio. Remote trio. It's G. Oh my God. Bro. Get this your trio, amazing. baby. Get that trio. That's the Yo, first. the bitch paid for a trio. Yeah, Give yeah, that exactly. bitch your nuggets, I, I mean, man. I, we're assuming, right? Those yeah. are the first words that the aliens are going to learn. <laughs> Je <mon> trio. <laughs> Je mon trio. <laughs> Je mon trio. What's your go-to at McDonald's? Uh, two junior chickens, two McDoubles. Wow. Yeah. yeah. That's that's fucking, that's a heavy order, dude. That is yeah, yeah, yeah. that is a Jewy. <laughs> <laughs> that's what I get, except <laughs> half. 
<laughs> Except half of it, yeah. even more Jewy. Yeah. See? It's Real a good Jew. it's a good deal and oh, it tastes Jew. tastes great. I mean I like bread. I don't <laughs> like fries. Yeah. I prefer Do you, wait, wait, first of all, that's lie. You don't like uh, That's lie. That's lie. I can't even <laughs> say it properly <laughs> because just you, so you, lie. Don't, you don't like the, the calorie to fucking to, to taste ratio. Though who doesn't like McDonald's fries? Eh. I wouldn't order it. No? No, I don't know. I never get it. So you I never, never ordered a trio. You don't even know what that brought was talking about. Trio. I don't, uh, I don't order a trio unless I'm getting a poutine. Oh, right. Okay. So you really don't like fries unless there's cheese and sauce on them. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Otherwise, right. it's just like, what am I doing? Or five guys because it's Cajun fries. That's different. That's true. That's a different story. That's true. Five Guys is a good burger, but it's... Yeah. Well, Five Guys is good. It's $12 for a hamburger. I just a hamburger. I'll order a $13 sandwich from uh, Parma Cafe. Yeah, but you, you could eat... But you, it's a nice sandwich. It's a, it's a, yeah, it's yeah but even sandwich. the burger, yeah. the burger's fucking... It's a solid... Yeah, but it's burger. not as big as Parma. Yeah. Well, no. Same. You ever had March again? Uh, March again? March again? <laughs> <laughs> Say it for me, because I can't say it. Mark of Janney's. Mark of Janney's. Mark of Janney's. Yeah. Right here? It's, it's, well, I mean, do you ever do you ever come by LaSalle? Not really. Okay. What so, is Mark of Janney's? What kind of food? It's an Italian uh, sandwich joint. But, I mean, no, it's, it's, it's also a... Uh, it's a they, butcher they shop. They, they, it's a butcher shop at the same time. It's a butcher shop, but they do uh, sandwiches. But they make meals during the day. It's fucking great food. Yeah. And for the price, I think it's twelve, $11. You get a sandwich yeah, you get a like lunch. This. You get a beautiful fucking sandwich. Yeah. It's Porchetta. A, I, oh, yeah, dude, I like chicken cutlet. Yeah. I feel like we're just going back to food this whole episode. <laughs> well, I, Is that I, just because we're really, really Yeah, hungry? I haven't eaten, maybe. That's why. Fuck, I, yeah. I haven't eaten, yeah. Are you, what are you, what are you are thinking? Are your feeds completely covered by Andrew Tate as well right now? My whole Instagram feed. Really? No matter where I go, Andrew Tate follows me. Dude. Well, I, I always see Andrew Tate. Uh, yeah, in, our, in our my, thing is for feed. sure because Bruno, uh, I think Bruno's his biggest fan. Mm -hmm. But... Uh, so, but, but that's because it's in your algorithm right now, right? That means he's, been, he's deep in my algorithm. Yeah, you like him? I mean... I don't want to watch it anymore. <laughs> <laughs> I thought it was kind of funny initially. The first time I saw him was uh, Tom Segura's podcast, Your Mom's House. That's, yeah. It is fucking funny, though, right? Yeah, it's that's, hilarious, that's, that's dude. Funny. So funny. And I've seen so many things before I saw that, and I think that was the funniest thing I saw him on. Yeah. They, they had yeah, hilarious usually... conversations. They used to make fun of him before they met him. Um, and now it's just too much. <laughs> yeah. But... Yeah, it is. I mean... It's, it's like it's too much of him. Yes, the, uh, but it, it's yes. to me, it's the fucking irony of it that they tried to cancel him, and you're seeing more of him now than ever. That's beautiful. So I, I'm like, I'm like for it on that part. Like, fuck you for trying to censor him. Yeah, I like it. But, what 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 did he say that they tried to censor? What was the stuff? A lot of shit, dude. Uh, he, he he goes off on women a lot. <laughs> that's his thing, right? Yeah. Like, it's, and then uh, he he started using, I don't know to what extent he's using it or to what extent he is religious. Um, the N word. No, <laughs> religious. <laughs> He's talking about like Islam a lot, and um, I don't know. I saw obviously it's like zero context, fifteen second clips that I'm seeing. Well, yeah. But he uses like Islam, like haram, bro, and it's kind of like memeish in the way he's using it. Okay. But I don't know, man. But is he is is he uh, is he what's it called? Is he Muslim? Uh, I Andrew think Tate? so. I think he said he converted to Islam recently. Really? Yeah. Good for him. If he's happy, proud. Yeah, I, I don't care. I don't give a fuck what the hell you do in your yeah, life. Yeah, I really could man. give a shit. Just don't fucking fly a fucking plane to my house. So I don't give a fuck what you do. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean, ideally. That's actually a great segue to the to the call that I that I have oh, yeah? to, to the dream that I that I have been having now, bro. The most so sleepless nights because of the most it's disturbing a video with only sound. It's a nine one one call of a guy from the Twin Towers calling from like the fucking fiftieth from the whatever the hundredth floor or something. On you heard top, that bro. phone call? Yeah, dude. And it. You know how it ends? With the, a, a bang? No, the building falling. Oh, really? Yeah. Like, it's. I have chills now talking about it. How long is the phone call? It's like three minutes. Like, the girl's talking. She's like, I'm trying, I can't breathe. Tell them to come here. And like, she just kind of, like, doesn't want to tell Christ. them that. She's just no one going in that fucking building. <laughs> That's terrible. Dude. And, like, how it ends, it's like, oh, Where my God. Where did you find this, dude? Why, why it's on Instagram, fuck. It's on my feed. I don't know why. Agitated deaths. <laughs> Dude, this is the problem. With, this is the problem with media. It shows you things sometimes you don't need to see. Yeah, you, you don't want that. You see. should never see. Yeah, like I feel, I you... feel bad for that guy's fucking family. We're man. all starting to see things that none of us are searching for. Yeah, you know what that's I mean? the crazy part. Yeah, Just putting stuff in front of us. Yeah. yeah, and like and like I never searched the Twin Towers shit. Like I promise Not you. Not recently. No, like I, you know, I like. 
I don't. And then that came up. And like, uh, how could you not listen to it? Like, how... <laughs> no, I don't know. It's human curiosity. The worst, I guess so. The, the worst video I've ever heard of my life, bro. Yeah? Yeah. Like, it's... All you hear is, oh, my God. And then it... Yeah, that's, uh, that's pretty shitty. That's rough. That and the second worst one was the astronauts in space. You ever heard that one? No. No. It was NASA where, like, uh, there's, like, four astronauts in space. They're doing something. It's a note of Apollo mission that fucked up. And uh, there's something like there's a there's a small po- uh, fire in the cockpit, and so they're saying back to Houston like oh there's a small fire in the cockpit we're trying to get it under control here, but there's so much oxygen into this thing, they're like all you hear is oh my god I'm pretty good and he oh just my god. it just cuts <laughs> off dude oh, fuck dude it was great <laughs> that was great though <laughs> <laughs> it was very uh, it was very Chris Farley esque yeah. I'm burning alive. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good Chris Farley. <laughs> 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 All the humanity. I'm dying in space. Well, was, mine was terrible. <laughs> mine was just a fat guy. Are you big movie guys? Do you watch a lot? Yeah, too much. Chris Farley? Movies. movies oh, yeah, movies. Uh, yeah. Did I, uh... you see Nope? Yeah, I saw Nope. What do you think about it? Uh, I didn't watch the previous movie that he made. Did you do the digital prefix? Just answer the question. What did you think about it? <laughs> it was okay. It sucked. It was okay. Say it sucked. No, no, no. It was okay. Say it sucked, overhyped, and other people like it. I've heard it, both. It was fun because it was weird, and I haven't seen a weird movie in a while. I like that. I like it that. It wasn't even really weird. It was weird. It was weirdly paced. The uh, the the creature yeah. was weird. It was shit. I heard was the really creature weird. was weird. I haven't seen it yet, though. Mm-hmm. I you said you're going to see you never saw it. Like, uh, I don't watch it. I've seen some good shit recently. It makes it, it's it, it, what it did is it made me think about now I'm looking at clouds. I'll tell you that much. That's what it did for me. That clouds, movie. yeah, because the whole thing is like they they hide behind the clouds. Uh huh. Oh, Spoiler alert. I have to watch it anyways. A movie you have to watch is the one with Mel Gibson. I can't remember what the fuck it is. I'm gonna Passion of the Christ. Oh no, he's not in that. Uh, it just came out. It's fucking amazing. Where he fucking uh, he works at a radio station and he gets this new guy and and uh, whatever a story ensues. But just watch. A story ensues. Well, because if I say anything, I, I, it, I, I give it. it away. I get it. I give it away. Like, and I didn't see this coming at all. Like, it's one of those. It's uh, it's a good one. It's comedy. It's uh, what's it called? What's this movie? I'm trying to. I'll find it. Mel Gibson. Uh, Mel Gibson movie. Did you see uh, Fat Man with Mel Gibson? Where he plays Santa Claus. Santa Claus one? No. 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 no that's that. It's good. Tell me another movie that uh, that you like. You're a movie guy. On the line. On the line, amazing. Get, read the premise for it, bro. Or show us the put the put the. No. Why? I don't know. Trailers. You could do a trailer. It's promotional shit. He's a stud, eh, Mel Gibson. Even like, uh, even even, <laughs> even against all the anti. My mother used to be a huge Mel Gibson guy. Like, uh, yeah, well, like, he, was, he was classic '90s, like '80s, uh, '90s, '90s action. So he works at a radio station. And uh, I'm gonna see. It's curious to see how what the trailer is because I had I knew nothing going in it. I just put it on because I saw Mel Gibson. I thought he was gonna trash Jews, so I watched it. <laughs> <laughs> Every one of his movies, he has this whole fan base. Like, where's the Jew hating stuff? <laughs> He's, like, He's one got time, a good guys, voice too, eh? He's, He's got, got a good voice, voice for uh, for radio. I just watched Get the Gringo recently. He's in that. We're expecting your call. Talk to Elvis live on air and tell him oh, yeah, his name's Elvis. Issues and problems. His, his name's Elvis? In the movie. If it isn't the greatest radio host. Yeah, plays a small part. Okay, we got Gary on the line. What say you, Gary? <sighs> Gary, are you with us? I'm going to do something really screwed up tonight. The fuck? You at home? I'm going to do something no. really screwed up Does tonight. Does the home belong to someone you know? No, it belongs to somebody not very nice. And I'm, I'm going to take out his whole family. Gary, what was that? I'm breaking into the house. Hey, 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 Gary, stop, wait, come on. Why hurt his family? I mean, there's... What's he saying? Why hurt his family? Oh, so there's a guy called in and he's like he's about to... He's crazy and he's on the phone with him. You saw the movie, the whole movie? Yeah. Okay, okay. Interesting. 
Can have you guys seen the phone booth? Do you remember that one? Yeah. That Fuck. was like the classic version of this, right? Yeah, that's it. Yeah, then they did it with the 911 call. You find out it's his the, house. Uh, I think it was Halle Berry. You find out it's his house. Oh, thanks. No, no, but they tell you that. I'm sure they tell you that in the preview. Oh. I remember yeah. watching phone booths with my dad. Yeah, what that was... Was Colin Farrell? Yeah. Yeah. And, uh... That was intense, that movie, man. It was a great movie. Yeah. I remember watching the... Downloading it on, like, uh, Kaza. <laughs> Kaza. 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 Kaza or Kaza? Kaza? I used to call it Kaza. So how do you pronounce K-A-Z-A? -A? Kaza. <laughs> <laughs> you remember those shits? Those, uh... Those fucking downloads. Uh, what was the other one there? Well, I started with Napster. We had LimeWire. Morpheus? LimeWire. LimeWire. Yeah. Was it Morpheus? No. Yeah, there was a Morpheus one. No, that's the Lawrence Fishburne in The Matrix. Morpheus. I think Morpheus was a good actor. It was one of those that it was like, didn't catch his yeah. LimeWire. Yeah. Yeah. Shit. Yeah, LimeWire was the big one. Yeah. That gave your computer just the worst diseases. Oh, uh, yeah. AIDS for the computer. Especially yeah, if you yeah. downloaded uh, porn, like, like wow, me, and a horse porn. That, that was actually the first... <laughs> a horse porn. That was the first time one of those videos <laughs> that my friend showed me. It was uh, AP that showed me a horse porn. That. A horse yeah, porn it. video. Mr. Hans, people were right? downloading. It oh, wasn't... God. It wasn't... You didn't know what you were getting. It wasn't YouTube. You couldn't see a preview. Oh, yeah. You know, you know fucked up videos first? I remember we have close to your house, PL. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> for real? Yeah. Remember yeah. Yeah, that was hey, the Olympics. I remember. That's that enough to be. Fake. That's enough to be fake. It was fake. Yeah, but snuff. I remember there were like. But oh, the snuff. There was, there's no real snuff though. Like. Yeah, there is. What do you think? What do you think? What do you think? Fucking. Uh, no, but back in the day, like it was just it was faces of death basically, which was also yeah, yeah fucking fake hoax. Yeah, it was all fake. Yeah. But uh, what was I gonna say? Oh the uh, oh the horse thing, yeah. It's just the, <laughs> oh yeah, the horse thing. I'm convinced this video is real. Uh, I well, where it falls, yeah, and kills the girl. Yeah, there's like there's a guy, there's like a guy, or there's a girl or a guy. Uh, I don't. I never seen it. I just know it from <laughs> yeah. my recollection of and, hearing uh, you. It's like bent over. There's a horse like fucking it. Ah, oh, bro. <laughs> This is Wait. a nightmare. This is a nightmare. Wait. I hate Let me get like to this. the good part. <laughs> that's, not the, that's not the worst part. Yeah. The, so, like, the horse is, like, on, like... Uh, on, like, a... It has, like, his back like legs are, like, on, like, a stage. Like a stirrup. Oh, man. Okay, yeah. Like stirrups. <laughs> but it's, it's a stirrup? It's, I don't know. It's, it's a harness. It your legs. Yeah. Like, okay. Uh, anyways, but the horse, like, slips off. Oh! And, like... Goes all the way. And, and it, it impales the guy through the inside, <laughs> and he dies. He's just, like... Goes like limp <laughs> with the horse's cock inside him. Horse, and that's when I came. <laughs> <laughs> horse Dude. impaled. Uh, I watch UFC. I can't. <laughs> uh, I think, well, it's I'm good. not that it's hard. Good when it changes yeah, I'm not this but, hard, man. But, but then, but then he cringes when he sees a a, a broken ankle. Yeah, I can't do broken, broken ankles in UFC. Dead. I hate that shit. You're watching horse impalements. <laughs> what time? <laughs> what time? Could not find any others? I tried. But what about like you've been watching trying. these fucked up videos yes. like uh, on uh, on fucking um, like hood site or like uh, these weird like crazy shit like fucking like dash cam or like uh, you know cams on the no, like body cams from police officers. Like no, you don't dude. see like the, the ones where the guy oh, like. Classic. Oh yeah, that's a good one. Hey. <laughs> yeah. Hey. Oh. Look at his oh. Leg. Hey. No. Hey. Yeah, dude. This is one of the first like fucking internet video. This was Kaza. I can't see this. Smash! Ow! Yeah. Bro, That's so broken, dude. Psycho Sid. Psycho Sid Vicious. Yee, yee, yee. That That's off, a man. bad one. Look at that. Yeah, Turn that, like that off. I can't watch that shit. That I'll looks like... That looks like, like an Anderson Silva. Yeah, it looks like the capital L. <laughs> That's a fucking... <laughs> ah! Capital L. Look at that. That's so bad, dude. It's so horrible. I need, I need to watch a death of... <laughs> Dude, watch it. Oh my god! <laughs> it looks oh like... my god! You know those drawings? Every time I look up, it's bad. <laughs> Stop <laughs> changing! Stop making it so so bad. You know, like a drawing mannequin with the fucking joints that you can move around. No, like a real doll. No, you know those like <laughs> it's like these wooden things that you can move in different like postures. Oh, like the Robax commercials. Yeah, where he pulls the pins out and the. Are you talking about like, the, man how, how the, man the mannequins that? for like uh, like a crash test dummy or like uh It's I don't know how to describe it. It's a mannequin for people who draw. 
It's like, it's like a small mannequin oh, no. that okay, they move yeah, yeah. around it's like the, the hands. Thing. Yeah, the robaxes yeah. with, so with it's the pins. So where all the joints are. You have a yeah, joint it's made of it's wood, a, I think. Yes, yes, yes. yes. Wood here, with like metal. Here, yeah, yes, okay. bendable metal parts. Those are for people who draw? Yeah. Really? Because you could set them up in like a pose, a running pose, and you get a good view and you look at it from different angles and shit. Ah. So Fucking you, you draw? Uh, <laughs> my brother more than I do. I okay, so that's why there's a reason you know that. Yeah. Okay, all right. Yeah. I was actually my fir the first thing I wanted to do was get into 3D animation, uh, and then I didn't get into Dawson, so I did pure and applied sciences, Marianopolis. Well, how do you not get into Dawson and get into pure and applied at Marianopolis? Because I was good at math, but then I fucked up on well, the. You dodged a bullet on that one, right? <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me, I went there. Uh, I have PTSD from that. Yeah, I, I was there That's when it why happened. You, f you fucked in the head now. Yeah. <laughs> okay. I'd appreciate it if you didn't make jokes about Kim Veer Gill. About what, what happened? Dawson, when they the school said, shooting. He said you dodged a bullet, right? He was making a oh, joke about the school shoot. You didn't even get shit. the joke. No, <laughs> I was a lost here. It's okay. <laughs> okay. I shit. When was that? It was in two thousand and. I'm gonna go with five. <laughs> okay. Shit. I it was know. 2006. I graduated in 06. I graduated in 06. I, I so it was like 07, yet. maybe. I yeah. wasn't even in Canada yet. I think I, I might have heard about it from Dubai. Really? And, we, and made, we made the that, Dubai news. And that's the first place you chose. And you know, when I'm coming to Canada, I'm going to go to Dawson. Yeah. There's only been one shooting. The it's only a beautiful, shooting. I mean. Yeah, it was oh, between six. that or Polyvalent. <laughs> I wish I did. You would though. think coming from the Middle East, Paul Valant would be his. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> it would be more of your choice, because it's all women they, they killed there. Shot women. Uh, oh my god! <laughs> yeah. Oh my god! That was bad. Actually, Kim Virgil only shot a girl too. I guess it's uh, the motif in Canadian school shootings. Maybe. It's okay. Well, in Canada, well, in we only small, in the small amount that we have. Yeah, but in but still, it's that's drawing. crazy. Did anybody make that? Uh, that thing, how many? Connection? <laughs> yeah, I don't think only the women have died in school shootings <laughs> in Canada so far. I think. <laughs> Maybe in Montreal. I don't know why we're laughing. I, I, someone was talking about this, how a lot of the killings is done by dudes who are, like, angry at women. Yeah, incels. Incels. For sure. Yeah. And also, not a lot of women doing the shooting either. No. No. It's very rare. No, no women is, no women, it's impossible for a woman to be an incel. That's why. That's why, that's why I thought. They could get mad for other reasons, though, I'm saying. They just. They yeah, but nobody, nobody wants to, to kill you. But, yeah, it's the guys who do it. Yeah. Also, serial killers. Not many female serial killers. No, I think there's like one or two on record. That girl, uh, the one where Char Charlize Theron played uh, her. Yeah. Great movie. Sick movie. I can't believe she looks that ugly in the movie. Yeah, I know, because she's a piece of ass. She's you ever seen that movie, guy. Monster? You're a movie guy. No. You never seen Monster? Char Charlize no, no. Theron plays that. Uh, True story about the Eileen. Uh, uh, Eileen Werewolves. Werewolves. The, the only American. Uh, the only American. The only American female serial killer. Female serial killer. Really? Yeah. I had no idea. Bad bitch. Yeah. Oh, well, she was crazy in the fucking head. But uh, yeah, what, what are the other? Is there any other? So the, okay, that movie on the line. You have to watch it, guys. I want you to watch it seriously and like okay. message me and tell me what you think. Okay. It's fucking. It was amazing. Anything, it's on Netflix. It got a terrible review. Uh, I don't think it's on Netflix. Okay, I have to find no. it somewhere else. Yeah. Is it on Crave or Amazon? I or? don't know. I'm, I use the illegal sites, bro. It's on fucking uh, one, one, two, which, three movies. Which illegal site in, in particular? <laughs> one, two, three movies. I think. <laughs> okay. What do you use for movies? Uh, I torrent if I need it. Oh, uh, yeah? Yeah, I just torrent something. Okay. Pirate Bay. I mean, I used to. <laughs> yeah, not anymore. I mean, never done that. Not anymore. Now yeah. I, I pay everybody. Yeah. Pay them all. Uh, I'm on Netflix a lot. Decent amount. Give me give me something that you've watched recently that like made you off. Oh, wait. Do you like, you like Korean films? Maybe. You ever watch any Korean films? Old Boy. I've seen Old Boy. Uh, the original? Yeah. With yeah. Turbin Sick? I've seen both. Yeah. Okay. How much better is it than. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Way I better. Mean, Way better. Not even comparable. You can't even. Who's that guy? Jason uh, Ham? John Ham? Was he the guy in the. No. The new one? Yeah. No, the new one was uh, Brolin. That, yeah. Josh, Josh Brolin. Brolin. Yes, yes, yes. yes. <laughs> John Ham would have been amazing. Yeah. John Ham's amazing. Yeah. But yeah. Turbin Sick kills. Yeah. As Ode Su. I don't like how they made it dumplings in the American one too. They should have made it like hamburgers or something, I think. Like it was such an a fucking chance to make it like Americanized, no? Yeah, puts in. If it was uh, Quebecois. Yeah. <coughs> you gotta see I saw the devil then though. Yeah, it's like the that. same actor. Yeah. What it's is it called? I, I saw, saw the, the devil. devil. I saw the devil. Okay. Yeah. It's uh it's it's the same guy who plays the, the main character in uh, in Old Boy. Mm-hmm. Well, except, he's not the main uh, character. He plays a, he plays the bad guy in this. Except he's the bad guy in this. Okay, cool. But he he's fucking amazing as a bad guy. He thought he was good as like a well, he's kind of like an anti because he does a lot of shady shit yes, in, in, yes. in Old Boy. Yeah, yeah. You know? 
but uh, he's incredible. That dude. was a crazy movie, man. That was a really crazy. <laughs> but movie. It, was the, it was weird. Like, the, like you're impossible to guess that ending. You know, like the, yeah, it was. It was weird. You know, like the fucking sister thing or whatever. Yeah, it's like it's his daughter, see, yeah. and then you, you know? see they couldn't do that in the American one though. Yeah, they did. They, no, they did something different. It was a little. Yeah, different. he wasn't. He wasn't banging his sister in the in the American one. No, in the in the Chinese one, it's his daughter. No, no, no. Korean I'm talking one. about yeah, the Korean one. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> Sorry to mix it up. In the fucking ding ding dong one. <laughs> tomato, oh, tomato. <laughs> in the Japanese movie. Um, but no, because the guy who is doing this to Odesu, he was the one who was banging his sister, and then Odesu found out. Yeah, and makes him bang his his own fucking. At, at his, makes his ba- bang his daughter at the end of the movie. Yeah, but in in the American one, it was I think the father was banging the son. Wasn't that it? And no, then the family finds about, out. I'm talking about the guy making it. It's all about the the the, the coup de gras where he fucking. Yes, but they don't do that in the American one. Yes, he does. They, they make do him. They, they, no, different. they make him fuck the girl that helps him too. They, he fucks her, and it's his daughter or something. Really? Yes. But not as good. <laughs> yeah, not as good. Not as good. Of course, it wasn't as good. <laughs> I haven't seen it in a long time. But you got to see. So the, the premise for uh, I Saw the Devil is this cop, this detective, his wife gets murdered. Like in the first five minutes of the movie. Yeah. And uh, he, instead of, he knows that like if they catch him, he's going to go to jail. So instead of like catching him, he finds him, beats the shit out of him, and, and plants, plants a, tracking. A, a tracking device on him. And just follows yeah. his every move. So every time he's about to do something bad, he shows up and just and beats, beats the, shit the out of him. shit out of him. <laughs> <laughs> it's fucking amazing. It's amazing, what? dude. Yeah, yeah, dude. It sounds crazy. And at one point, the guy gets... Uh, he gets uh, Wow, I mean, he gets, catches, yeah, catches the wind. With, with, what's he going realizes, on? so he's like, guess what I'm going to do next? Because he knows he, he knows can he hear, can him. hear him. So he's like in the stories. He's, he's like, talking I'm gonna to I'm going to kill himself. this guy if you don't get here. <laughs> yeah. Like, you know, hurry up. Yeah. <laughs> It's such a good movie. Yeah. Twists and turns. Cannibalism. Yeah, cannibalism. Everything but, you'd want uh, in the film. But they, they make wicked um, zombie movies also, the Koreans. Train to Busan. Really? I haven't seen it. Is one of the best zombie movies okay. I've ever seen. And they did We Are All Dead. Uh, it's on Netflix. That's a show, though. Yeah, it's a, it's a show. Well, I mean, first of all, they did Squid Game, which was Squid Game's amazing. Sick. Not zombie, though. No, no, but sick. But the the zombie one, it's it, it takes place in a high school. So it's high school kids getting fucking eaten alive. I've seen Battle Royale, the Japanese one. Yeah. Which one? Battle Royale. It's like the what the Hunger Games was based on. Why do you on. say it like bat like that? Battle Royale. Battle Royale. <laughs> Battle? Battle. When, when I say consonants, my accent comes out a little more. Oh yeah? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Two T's. Battle. Battle Royale. <laughs> it's like uh it's like Hunger Games? Yes. Like the, is it the original Hunger yes, Games? Yes, yes, it's the original. Obviously. It's like just a bunch of kids in a fucking uh they're in a school, right? And they set them out into the thing. So no holds barred. They have bar. backpacks with all different weapons each, and it's like uh, that's cool. Yeah, yeah, they're all sent basically yeah. kill each other, and there's a winner every year. Um, I forget why the premise like population control. It might have been population control. It might have been something like it's that. Something stupid like well, that. I didn't, really, I didn't really like Hunger Games, to be honest. I didn't finish it. I saw. The I liked the first one, and then it just got like too crazy. Because the concept it's was like good. Like Lord of the Rings. Like uh, you could have done that all in one movie, bro. Like it's enough. Like, no, we try. We watched Lord of the Rings. All you saw three the of directors them. cut. <clears throat> oh no. God. Okay, okay. I saw those ones. <clears throat> what? <laughs> you like you what? Like Lord of the Rings? No, my cousin. It's not anymore. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Family friend. He was like, "Let's do it, bro. Let's do it, man." I was like, "All right." We watched the first two. It was like it was like four or five hours each. And then on the third one, it was like another four hours. I, you did I, them back to back? Uh, it was like two days. Okay, because us, we did them back to back. Oh, but the, the originals, the original, still brutal. They're long, bro. <laughs> the last one, I quit like three hours into it. Yeah. You see, you made it all that way. Think about it. You literally That's swam three quarters across, How, across the drowned. river. I and then you fucking them. swam back. How the fuck did you, you watch a five hour? The, especially The Hobbit. Like, I love The Hobbit. Like, the first one was amazing, I thought, the movie. Yeah. But it. like I read, that's the only book I read, The Hobbit. I, I never read The Lord of the Rings. I just read The Hobbit. Oh, okay. The Hobbit is this big. You see, that's why you read it. Yeah, well, it's a yeah. Pamphlet. Yeah, it's a short one. It's a There's short the, book. The, which is like Lord of the Rings are this big each. Yeah. Okay. They made three movies out of this, The <laughs> Hobbit. You know, so they know, they really they know them. It. It's a cash maker. Yeah. They know. Well, yeah. yeah. We make three, they're gonna come back for yeah. more. Yeah, they got the, sh- the they got the show now. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I don't, when they made the first Hobbit, did they call it something special, or did they just, did Straight they just up the call Hobbit. it the Hobbit and trick people and be like, ah, oh, there's another? Yeah, one? Yeah, that's a good question. Th- I'm not sure. I think they knew there was going to be three. So of it was them. a prequel, right? Yes. Okay. Yeah, but they, but <clears throat> the Hobbit is before Lord of the Rings. Yeah. 
And then now this show that they have out, I think Ring of Power, is before <laughs> the Hobbit. The Hobbit. It's like thousands of years before, just like the new fucking uh, House of the Dragons, the the Game of Thrones, mm. uh, which sucks. I saw the first three episodes. They're I terrible. Didn't, yeah, I didn't finish. No, I saw the first nine. I'm, I can't bring myself to watch the tenth. Okay. It was so boring. Like, oh wow, another conversation. Wow. <laughs> you know. Some I dragons. guess they gotta they gotta like create this new world for you now, right? So they have to. Yeah, get you invested. Yeah. And stuff. Yeah, but I feel like the the first season of Game of Thrones, the original, was. Usually they're good because they, yeah. I never got into the Game of Thrones. I know. It's I was really, a big Game of Thrones guy. It was, yeah? It was so good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Then it was, the, except for the end. Last season, they ruined it, man. It Why, Jon Snow dies? Who? Everything was shit. Well, well, he, he dies earlier. Does he? And then he comes, comes back. back. Ah, so you ruined it for me, man. <laughs> <laughs> I was just about to get into okay, it. Ten years yeah. later. <laughs> <laughs> it's been a long time, man. When did Game of Thrones end? Six years ago? Fuck, it's been a while. Yeah, it's been that long, huh? Mm-hmm. But did you start watching it from the beginning? Like when it was like when, like it, when it was airing? No, you, I okay. started season three, maybe. Okay, same here, because I, I wasn't into like people were telling me, like, yeah, you gotta watch this show. I'm like, okay, what's it about? They're like, fucking dragons, dragons and, and incest and zombies and, uh, and incest. And I'm like, eh. Uh, incest. Uh, incest I'm kind of down <laughs> yeah. with, but the rest of it, dragons. Dragon incest, maybe. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> there's a there's a new show on Netflix about this broad that joins a church and like goes crazy. Just another thing to see over religion is his own nuts. Okay. You got to see that one. What's That's it called? Whole, I don't even know. <laughs> You're good at that. Yeah. yeah. Very good at that. Yeah. How long are we going here, bro? I don't know. Four and a half hours? Really? <laughs> <laughs> let's, do, uh, let's do a little bit more on comedy. Uh, if you could think of like your top three. Yeah, let's do it. That's a good idea. Comedians. Top yeah. three comedians. Like uh, all time. In Montreal. We'll do Montreal after. <laughs> we'll do time, Montreal after. I don't know. Chap- Chappelle... Carlin. I didn't say philosophers. I said comedians. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's... Fucking... Yeah, that's solid already. Segura? Oh, yeah? Tom Segura, maybe? Really? No, Louis. Where's Louis? There Louis's you go. up there. There you go. Uh, Louis's definitely in my top three. Shit, Louis. You got kind of both of there after the incident, right, for you? Like, <laughs> <laughs> he's, always, he's always been... He's always been one or two. Chappelle and him were uh, yeah. usually yeah? trade places. Mm-hmm. Uh, Patrice O'Neill. Huge. He might be number one for Huge, me. Huge, dude. Give me, give me a little, I go me back a little skin here. All the time. Yeah. Fucking Patrice, dude. I go back and watch. There, there's a tape of him doing a set uh, with um, a translator, like doing sign language, That's plus amazing. a guy typing, and he's roasting them because he's performing <laughs> for like deaf people <laughs> and stuff like that. Um, it's unbelievable. He's amazing. I gotta watch that. He's amazing. His philosophy too is yeah. Like, uh, well, I've I've what, I've, I've listened Church to Church of Black Philip or something. Well, no, I'm just saying that what he like uh, the way he, it's it's the way he, he doesn't give a shit about women yeah, like he women's opinion. Not that like, he doesn't uh, give a shit. It's just no. he understands the yeah. game that they're playing and he plays it back. You know, yeah. he's a good. He's a funny arguer. Yeah, he's, he's a he's, funny yeah. arguer. Yeah. It's he's good at coming up with um um. With analogies. Like, uh, situ- analogies. Yes. To, He's a great to analogy. How he feels. Yeah. Yeah. Through through story, uh, and and off the cuff too. Eh? Like when very he, often I hear him, like I, I've listened to hours of him on Opie and Anthony, mm-hmm. just taking calls, and he has a fucking answer. Yeah. For every question, <laughs> like what what do you suggest I do? Well, you know what you got to do. Yeah. You got to take that you, bitch. <laughs> you got to lay next to that bitch, pull your dick out, and start jerking off. <laughs> Yeah. And if she tries to help you say, no, 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 baby, I don't need I don't need your help. I can do this shit myself. <laughs> She's gonna fuck you immediately. And you just say, No, no, I'm good, I'm good. I just made myself come. I'm happy. You know? And like, you know what, Patrice? I'm gonna try that tonight. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he does a good of, you. of making you believe in his philosophy. Yes. Yeah. Very convincing. He, he would have been a, lo- a great he talks preacher. A lot of shit. Well, yeah. You ever seen the uh I forget what podcast he's on with uh with TJ Miller's there and okay. uh, and uh, the girl that writes the book, that stupid, there's this piece of ass broad that writes a book. Oh, yeah, yeah, Dr. Uh, uh, something, Dr. Z or something. Uh, yeah. I've seen these clips. Yeah, yeah. Seen she's these clips. amazing. Yeah, but. It's like, you writing a book, that's like me writing uh, you a, book a book about how to about, get about, women. It's like me, me writing, writing a book, a book. How, to, how to expect that to feel in the third trimester. In pregnancy, yeah. Yeah, and he does like. Which is yeah. true. Yeah, but then TJ Plus, Miller. she's a piece of yeah, ass, but he doesn't give a shit. I've never about seen. I've never seen uh, what she looked like. 
Pull, can you pull something up there, Bruno? Uh, Dr. Z. Patrice O'Neill, Dr. Z. Because all those Opie and Anthony ones, I was just listening to it, just audio. Yeah, it's just a picture on YouTube. I remember I saw long clips of that. I've seen like an yeah. hour, two, yeah, three yeah, hours yeah, or yeah. something. Yeah, yeah because it was of them great... arguing on philosophy. Yeah. yeah. And TJ Miller, who's just trying to get laid the whole time and be like a fucking loser and not addressing the points in the room, you know? Yeah, Dr. Z. Just pull up a picture of Dr. Z. Yeah. Okay, she's a pretty lady. Come on. That's a pretty gal. Patrice is great. I might lose I might lose a foot. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that one of him arguing about on Fox News with yeah. that lady. That's hilarious, yeah. man. Yeah, yeah. He's like, Why don't you care about me? I might lose a foot. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Nobody sympathizes with me. What were the comedy crackhead? Yeah, she's insane. Yeah, she's a piece of ass. What uh what the fuck were they arguing about though? They did they were arguing them the too or the she, Fox News thing? They, on the Fox News one. Uh, comedy. Can comedy go too far? What can you make fun of? Oh, okay, uh, yeah, yeah, because he, he makes like, rape jokes. Yeah, and she's like, you can't... I, I, as far as I remember, something about him making fun of women. And he's like, how come you can make fun of me being fat? Uh, I had diabetes. I might lose yeah, a foot. Yeah, I might lose a foot. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> so it's so all like... Yeah. And it's true, man. He's got like... Yeah. yeah. And he died because he, he he of that. <laughs> yeah. It was yeah. diabetes and heart problems it ultimately and all that him. stuff. Yeah. Him, Ralphie May, they died to stuff like that. Mm-hmm. Very sad, man. There's a few of them. There's a few of them. Always push comedians to be healthy. It's always good. Yeah. Fucking exercise. See you soon, Ralph. <laughs> yeah, let's do a chug of beer, sir, quick. Let's yeah, do a chug cheers, of beer. <laughs> Rest in peace. Fucking well, right. To those legends. Ralphie May has a like a three-hour mm. video online to like starting comedians on like... Uh, mukbang. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> how to do comedy And he's like teaching them About the industry a bit oh, yeah? For real? Yeah it's like a three hour video On YouTube or something That's pretty he cool He was like Like Patricia O'Neill was big But like Ralphie May was like You look at him Bro, you're like Oh he was 500 like he, pounds? Yeah like he was fucking Even like, John Panette? No I don't know who that was He was fucking Yeah He was yeah. huge dude Yeah Because I don't want salad Salad is what the food eats <laughs> Salad is a promissory note that food will soon al- arrive. <laughs> <clears throat> All right. Um, what are the so uh, Dave Chappelle? Uh, it doesn't have to be in any order. Dave Chappelle, uh, Patrice, Patrice, Louis. Those Louis. probably top three. Carlin, I like. I like your. I like your Carlin. Carlin's I love. Yeah, Carlin's Carlin. one of my, my favorites for sure, yeah, man. For He's sure. up there. But uh, yeah. I think I think Louis is. What about like any anybody new like you like Andrew Schultz, Mike Thurman? I like, like Andrew Schultz. I like Phil Phil Hanley on Instagram. Him, I don't know. Uh, Wasim told me about him, and then um, Mark Norman, Sam Arill. Yeah, top notch. Both uh, of them. Shane Gillis. Is He's one of my so favorites. funny, yeah. dude. My favorite yeah. newcomer. I saw a leaked bit. Um, I don't know if you saw. There's like a 15 minute clip of his on YouTube that leaked, and they got taken down. Okay. But he talks about like. Insane stuff. Obviously, I don't want to spoil it, but it's like okay. Navy Seals and ISIS and like uh, on a on a live spot. Like he's doing stand up. He's doing it stand up, and it leaked, and probably will be on his next thing. Okay, because his first Very one was amazing. Funny, yeah, the first special was incredible. Yeah. He talks about his, his okay, heroin just, sister just, going it, on it, it a, got a quest. Da- it got, it got taken. <laughs> it got taken down because uh, it was it was because it, it leaked, not because it was too offensive or something. No, 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 okay. no, no. it leaked. I love Gillian Keeves, the uh, the short uh, the short yeah, clips that they got, like Bob ISIS. Dude. ISIS Toyota. <laughs> yeah, ISIS Toyota. <laughs> I don't even know what that is. We have no affiliation with ISIS, <laughs> with the terrorist rings. group. And then he does all these puns. Yeah. The only thing, uh, the only thing explosive <laughs> here are our prices, <laughs> or the savings that you're gonna get. You know. Yeah, he does some good ones there. The uh, the uncle, the daycare for uncles. Yeah. And um, there the, was the father on OnlyFans. Yeah, that's a good one. And there's the uh, I think my favorite one, dude, is when he he basically because he has that joke about. Um, uh, remember the Titans about how it's basically how yeah they, they, came, they overcame racism they overcame racism because of football yeah you know <laughs> so, those are our brothers <laughs> unbelievable yeah he's, he's like the first 15 minutes he's like get them out of here and then at the end of the street he's like this is my brother <laughs> yeah they become state champions because <laughs> they won fucking yeah and so, so and so he gets he gets like um there's the the clip on Gillian Keeves where he's the white coach and then they they start losing the football the football team's losing 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 so they get some black players and they start winning and so he gets a black uh, assistant coach 
And then one day he shows up in like the the native fucking African like dashiki <laughs> and like <laughs> everything. <laughs> I have, no, I have no idea. I've never seen those guys. Oh, we'll you watch. Should, we'll watch Very it after. Funny, you, should, you should definitely check it out. But uh, so yeah, those top comedians. Yeah, even Tim Dillon. He's very, Tim Dillon, very political, but great rants. Yeah, hilarious. great rants, dude. Dude, he says some wild. I love when I watch comedians say wild shit because it opens me up a little bit. Because bro, the stuff Joey Diaz says. Yeah. Crazy. And Shane Gillis. Yeah. Crazy. These guys are saying things that are unheard of. Yeah, but they're so funny, and especially in this day and age. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Related? you know. Yeah, but the Joey Diaz is stories, right? He's like, would you stories? Con- would and you consider him a comedian? Insight, or a insight. Comedian? Well, he's a, he's a comedy storyteller. Yeah, yeah. I guess. <laughs> yeah, he has a little wake joke up, jokes cocksuckers. as well. Yeah, wake up, cocksuckers. <laughs> <laughs> it's Monday. Smoke yeah. that fucking morning blood. <laughs> Grab your nutsack. Yeah. <laughs> Kick Monday in the ass. <laughs> Did you see Tom Segura gave uh, Bert Kreischer uh, Hitler. Hitler's cup? Oh yeah. Yeah, <laughs> I saw that. <laughs> He said it costs twenty two thousand dollars. That's so crazy, <laughs> that's dude. That's so funny when you have that much money. Yeah. yeah. So Start that's buying. What you're buying? <laughs> yeah. Not seeing money to give to your friends. Yeah. Jesus. Ah, uh, you just put your your mouth on something that Hitler did. <laughs> Are they Jews? Are they both Jews? Are... Kreischer? No, but Segura is Segura. No, Segura's not no, Jewish. He's what is he? Mexican? Mexican? Spanish? Are they Mexican Jews? Spanish. He's Spanish. Yeah. Uh, Segura sounds more yeah more Spanish than Mexican. It's actually Japanese. <laughs> It's Segura? Segura. 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 Oh, man. All right. Anything else? Uh, That's enough debauchery for... <laughs> yeah. Where can they catch you? Since this is happening, this is Monday. Follow me on Instagram, TikTok, uh, YouTube, Hadikuba, H-A-D-I-K-U-B-B-A. I post clips every day for 100 days in a row, and then you'll get a fucking special. How long has it been? Uh, we're 40 days in. Solid. Yeah, yeah you're doing crowd work things right crowd now. Crowd work right? clips. 100 yeah. clips of crowd work. They're great. That's great. Um, that's, that's, that's a sign of true, like. Uh, just every day. Yeah. Put it out for 100 days and then put out a fucking special. You're fucking right. What kind of special? Like a uh, half hour, 45 minutes? Like, uh, I'm thinking half hour. Yeah? Yeah, I'm thinking half hour album kind of deal. So if we're on 40, we got 60 left. We got two months left. Two months left. Solid. Yeah. We'll have you back on once we. Uh, once yeah. we watch that special. Promote that special. Yeah. Fuck it. Yeah. If it sucks, we won't have you back. Yeah, fuck it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'll bring some food. I'll try and we'll, we'll, Yeah, <laughs> exactly. We'll get some food. Some hot dogs. There we go. <laughs> some hot dogs up. Or some falafel shake shock. <laughs> Fucking right. Well, thanks for coming through, bud. Thanks yeah, for having man. me, guys. Thank you, man. Cheers. Hadi Kuba in the house. Yeah, let's do it. Cheers. Well, Cheers. Pulling out. Jofo Mofos. Like, subscribe. Drop a comment. Do all that fucking groovy jazz. As always, eight to the tracks. Tico Leak. Select the one ones and twos. Hadi Kuba in the house. Just our fucking opinion. Joe Fumbo Fools. Don't get it twisted. Uh, we're out. Please. Fuck you. Love you. God bless. Thank you, guys. Yeah, my respect. Good shit. Good.